last night I had actually this morning because I worked overnight uh, I had eight of this eight of this I had and during MK Ultra I was told that three of three like this can kill you was Prince Harry insisted there will be an organ in my body that will enter uh, a shock uh, actually that will fail and the body will enter into a shock and then soon it will be a death uh, they targeted liver pancreas liver whatever the case might be I do not know these are cherries with alcohol very 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 fine stuff delicious stuff what they refer to me as uh, NFAD problem which is a non-alcoholic fatty liver uh, problem non-alcoholic because within the last I prorated that during the last I did I did drink upon return from Poland in 2020 uh, I did probably finished like and I, I'm sure it was not that much but let's say half of this you know let's say I don't know man I would say like a half a liter of alcohol but I tell you what let's say one liter of alcohol in three years you know in three years one liter of alcohol and this was the alcohol if it was and it was really rather half a liter than a liter of alcohol you know, how much is this stuff here anyways it doesn't say this is one liter right this is one liter half a liter of the alcohol okay within last three years I did that I have to drink a lot of alcohol to get completely drunk uh, one cherry like this two cherries like this and I'm out but yesterday I really really treated myself I enjoyed myself uh, because I came to the bottom about who was behind what well, destroying my family basically actually destroying me through my family to put it in a proper order and well you have to see the video about two politicians one is Robert Golob a prime minister and Monica Pippan Schwartz that's a minister for interior uh, both are Milan Kuchan apprentices together with Slovenian president female president we have now in Slovenia the three of them and it doesn't matter because Janis Janša is worse than Milan Kuchan between this evil that was trying to present itself yeah Milan Kuchan agreed to look bad for the cost of what I was already told the case is going to be it's going to be under the Janus Jansha you're going to get the proofs about this and that and so on and so forth and then it's going to come a Milan Kuchan that one it will kill you so this shit is all in agreement with Milan Kuchan because they would sell their mothers to save their bare skin disgrace disgrace is on the hands of Slovenian nation it's not on a Milan Kuchan and it's not on Jansha and it's not this and that because it, it becomes clear that they are in agreement with one another they just want now it was I was thought 30 years ago they're going to be pointing finger at one another who but the result is going to be the same 
So let's leave this stuff alone. This fine, how do you say this? Liquor, alcohol, whatever it would be. There is nothing, just a little bit. I did sip a little bit too. I did add it a little bit. So it was really, really fine, delicious. Eight pieces I counted. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine pieces. Nine of them. And a little bit of alcohol. I was trying to relax myself from writing. And it's difficult to relax. For a Madeline McCain, the parents who were involved since 1995 stated me. It's all going to be about Maddie, mad, mad, Maddie, mad. You're fucking mad. Madeline. This is what father stated me in, her father stated me in 2019. It's going to be about Maddie, mad. It's incredible, however, my father, who spent so much money on this house. This is not a regular house. When my father built this house, he invested for about three houses into a base it he invested a lot of iron metal in it so the structure would be solid because i'm saying because in slovenia they built houses that are really shitty houses cement block on cement block and then you have what they claim are natural disasters and this and that uh, taking away houses the houses are moving back and forth yeah, of course the fuck they are. If you don't build a good base, the house will fall apart. That's a normal thing. He sold my grandfather's house. Don't worry about it. Slovenia robbed us tremendously of our past. Don't worry about it. I see the King Charles is in a good spirits. You know, I mentioned the house because my father built a house he was wrong about everything really but the house began to hunt us they turned one into a big brother house I see that somebody's in exceptionally good spirits. And it's the man that you see right there. And I like this article, which was posted today on May the 26th. They will repeat the coronation despite financial controversies. There is lie, I think, about absolutely everything when it comes to this family. But it's really British that bear responsibility for this mindless lunacy, for this crime. Oops. I don't see his hands so much swollen. There was some picture about... Well, if you have an alcoholic fatty liver, however, 
if you suffer from those issues, actually, if you have a non-alcoholic one, that should be, that can be just as specular as alcoholic one. I mentioned to you this. I don't have a problem. I'd love to mention this stuff because. I am uh, abstinent. I don't drink alcohol. The stuff I have drank, half a liter of very fine um, they call them a Russian blue blueberries. They're not really Russian blueberries. It's um, Aronia, actually. Aronia was introduced to the to the Russians from Finland uh, through my case. Finnish sold to the Russians truth about Aronia. The Russians didn't even know they have in their backyards a cure for a possible radiation. They became popular when Vladimir Putin was explained that this is actually the stuff you would eat if you would be radiated to kill yourself. Uh, Aronia, they call them also uh, blueberries, Russian blueberries here in Slovenia. Um, Russians had this throughout the Russia but they didn't know just how beneficial and healthy this stuff was. That's a funny thing. They gave them this in year 1997. They told them about this stuff. When they started to gather here after seven years of MK Ultra, the Finland, the Finnish side told secrets about Aronia to the Russian side. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. This is the liquor that my mother had and that I drink about half a liter of it. The thing is that it was a half a liter within the last 30 years. When I stated I am abstinent, alcohol abstinent, I am. I invested in alcohol because they brainwashed me during MK Ultra for that for that portion, for that half a liter of it, which I drink. I invested in it because they brainwashed me under MK Ultra, including my father, that it is healthy for me. The only thing that's going to make me lose this sound, this so like American state, it's going to be like you're going to stand up next to the loud dam. Was to consume the alcohol, which was widen the uh, blood vessels. Capillare, blood vessels, and relax you, and the sound will go away. And you know, since I have this now, this sound for about seven years, and I greatly recuperated sleep because the sleep was terrible, the sleep was like four hours a day because of such an amount of torture they did on me. And because of the people that were so malicious, so evil, uh, I started to rather believe that it's directed energy attack. It's a guessing that I suffer from. That's how, that's how violent that stuff was done.
you know, I'm just explaining your background about why I didn't understood anything. I finally understood that I have a cancer that I suffer from, that I acknowledge that I had, that it's actually a cancer. And I still didn't know. I still was suspicious about it. And it was lucky for me I was. In 2022, that's last year, like, I acknowledge that this is actually a cancer, like maybe a year ago. And it's a good thing that I was, how can I say, suspicious about everything. Because they wanted to concentrate my, me on fight with the cancer. But the cancer that I have is a very, very specific cancer. And the fight with the cancer would simply lead into a real cancer, into a struggle with a real cancer. Because if I would consume so much garlic and stuff, it would cause so much damage to internal organs, which they already have damaged, that I no longer could possibly even recuperate myself. This was a British plan. This is how Americans, British, Germans, with Slovenian police, with Putin wanted to enforce this crime against me. This genocide, it's not really a crime. It's a butchery. And so I was cautious enough to pay very close attention lately, finally, to exactly what is going on. Exactly, exactly, exactly is go what's going on, what's happening. The damage, the degree of damage they have done to me is such that just by positioning my leg like this, I don't even have to step. All I have to do is like this. I don't have to stab in the wrong way. All I have to do is do something like this or massage it by pulling uh, left feet this way. Like in other words, you would do something like this. This would explode cancer. This is in the feet. Now, the cancer is also present in my left arm. Everybody involved in MK Ultra knew about this. Do you know what degree of damage physical they have done, harm? Tremendous one. Mm. To cause greater harm, they have used exactly what is cure for the cancer. That's an onions, garlic, under optimal conditions, which if you eat too much garlic and you eat too much onion, you cause damage to your internal organs. And during MK Ultra, and they were using also vitamins like enormous amounts of vitamins they were loading me with to see even I recall police officers to see if it was a foreign physician that requested to see to not to have this recorded for any foreign physician that would come like for instance this hundred year old physician from Ohio like this stuff here, uh, this individual. For this guy, they repeated this on a several occasions, uh, con uh, over consumption of vitamins. So he claimed that I'm not supposed to eat vitamins, that I'm not supposed to consume so many vitamins and so on, that, I, that he engaged like in a totally schizophrenic behavior. He may say, just to warn you. He was like, why do you eat? Why did you eat again? Why did you eat again so many vitamins? Why did you? Why did you? I didn't. So he was trying to alert me, but not only he, but it was several other physicians that they wanted to see how much it takes, how many vitamins it takes before the body uh, is severely internal organs impacted by this uh, multivitamins they were loading me with. C vitamin. Finally, I told them when they were loading me during the walkings, 
they had a C vitamin inside of the plastic bottles. That these bottles, I told them, it's a vitamin, it's a C vitamin, yeah, it's a C vitamin, the one you like. I told, but I told them under MKR, but it's a fucking plastic bottle you dissolve the C vitamin in. They were filling me with the stuff during the walking, making me drink large amounts of water and so on, claiming it's how good it is, how healthy it is. So they wanted to make sure that the body could not heal itself under like optimal conditions. It wasn't about telling me the garlic is good, it's healthy for you, onion is healthy for you, which they did. But it was about the stuff I have spoken about. It was about also other stuff. It was about using potatoes that none of you would eat, through which I was conditioned to eat potato. It was about a rotten chicken, rotten so much that you would smell one at the neighbor when you would cook one, and for which I was told by my mother repeatedly before she introduced one in real time, during MKUltra all the time, that is the chicken that stinks to her. So the healthy food they presented to me, the healthy food, like in a, such a way that you would not even think about eating the healthy food. Yeah, you could say they figure out everything. They got the answers for everything. This is the stuff yet I have to put on a video. I don't know if I'm going to be capable to this is something that I can demonstrate this. But the potato was so ugly, so shitty, that so disgusting that uh, uh, tutoring during MK Ursa on a rotten onions. I could have or onions, they presented them to me also as rotten. They had me pick between good and rotten onions. Uh, that kind of stuff they did. And all in all, because of what went on, I finally realized what is healthy and what is not healthy for me finally in 2022. That's actually after like five years of what I have gone through with this sound in my head with like four hours of sleep. Finally, when I reported to myself to physician in the Novomaster Hospital, the physician even inquired about the possibility. The physician who was involved in MKUltra, when I complained about the pain on the left side of the heart, inquired about the possibility of my being a schizophrenic. Uh, since I was, since he referred to me as, he stated it could be a schizophrenia that uh, you are deprived of sleep, that deprives you of sleep. It could be a schizophrenia. for what would be reporting myself, which emergency uh, medical care at the General Hospital Novel Maesto had to examine me on two occasions. And on third occasion, I asked for assistance due to COVID-19, and it was other issues also they have used. It wasn't only COVID-19, they blended something with COVID-19. It had a very, very severe uh, consequences on me and have presented the medical crew, ambulance crew that was involved in MK Ultra. They were violent, during, extremely violent. It was all about the death threat from the general hospital involving the ambulance uh, responders. But, uh, these people had to do their part. It's a government work, and they had to do their part uh, because there's no, there's no, there's no work basically without complying, and they do take care of me well. 
when they did came to pick me up. It's not that I would go after these guys. But during MK Ultra, this was about this was a ultra violence. Um, they stated me all the time, who is your personal physician? Who is your personal physician for what they claim me during MK Ultra? It's gonna be actually that you're gonna to go to the personal physician and it's the personal physician, the one that will immediately inquire through psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje, a forced hospitalization against you. That's how Novomaster General Hospital physicians have presented to me a death threat. Basically, they have conditioned me the right to the health care. The only time the health care was used in my case in Slovenia when they forcefully hospitalized me in 2013 based on a false domestic violence charges which my father filed. They, they, they brainwashed my father into it against me. With niece, with my sister, with my mother totally supporting from behind all, the whole thing. Um, this stuff here, yeah, if you're going to go to the personal physician, which they implied all the time during my visits also to the hospital, but during MK Ultra, they, uh, that you have to, during, uh, during MK Ultra, it's exactly what I stated. As soon as you get that to a personal physician, you're through. They have also given themselves a time frame. Yes, they have given themselves also a time frame. A time frame was measured in the number of attempts to obtain a medical assistance from Slovenian healthcare by claiming me by the psychiatrist, cops, local psychiatrists, and the police. You're going to have, and the, and the physicians at the hospital, Novomest or General Hospital, politicians, you're going to have twice, you're going to be allowed to go to use emergency care. For the third time, we will choose your personal physician. And that one will follow up with the medical uh, hospitalization, with a forced hospitalization against you. Yeah? Because if you don't choose your own physician, if you keep going to the emergency care rather than to a personal physician, it's something wrong with you. And so what we do, if you don't have the physician, we select you automatically. It's like they explained to me, like in Slovenia, this is the way it is. They, that's what they claimed me. So just want you to understand how legit this stuff is here. Some people, it appears to me, they just can't, they're just so eager to uh, I read the news here about the lady here. It just go into the category of Madeline McCain. This is exactly the article I was told it's going to be if I'm going to be doing stupidities like this. They told me three of this can kill you. And I can hear Prince Harry screaming at me right now. So why are you doing it if you know it's hurting? This is such a twisted mind fuck. You know? Uh, rather than to concentrate on solution and work to get this stuff done, these people wanted to search in me for an answer, like, why the fuck are you hurting yourself if you know it's bad for you, right? So what else is bad for you when you consume within the 30 years half a liter, you know, let's say one liter of alcohol within the 30 years. 
So what else is bad for you? If I was to judge his grandmother and his father and his uncle, they were drowning in alcohol. Then what else is bad for you? Yes, this judge was involved in it, and she's 95 years old, and she still is hanging around as a 95 year old as a federal judge. So, if this is not insane, and that's the kind of news they were pushing, trying to get, she says, what Joe Biden kept around so it would steer attention away from him and from the US Congress. This is not a Supreme Justice, this is not a Supreme Court Justice, of which all of them were involved since 1995 in this genocide. It's like disturbing stuff that stormed on me with this news was released already before this news was i'm about to demonstrate you right now this goes also to may the 26th today is may the 26th this news was released however two days earlier but i haven't seen one but today i did today however i did saw this news on the Yahoo as one of the main assets. That's what she claimed me I am. This stuff here. This, this is, this, this were her wishes. She did a good blow job on Prince Andrew. I could never miss this picture here. I was present during, I'm not going to say exactly when she was taking this picture, but if she was taking other picture like this or if this was the only picture that she took then I can assure you that they had me present so that I would recall her very well but it wasn't about this stuff here this is a nice little article about how I should write a complaint but it was about this stuff here impossible choice his family or the passenger can he save both can he save either emotion and logic they were fucking me during mk ultra to the last part of brain because london paid well because it appears like we're gonna have a second coronation you know funny when money doesn't even matter anymore to the people that worried about nothing other than money. My father built a house of debt. Not by building one. He built a house of debt by allowing these people to install cameras turn one into a big brother house. You know, I always wondered how the hell would it be? They claim me. They will be watching uh, how uh, they will know exactly when with my urine. They will see everything. They will know exactly what the situation is with my urine. 
You're claiming they will, be, they will be capable to see exactly whatever goes on with whenever I'm going to go on a big need using the restroom. And I think this is like as private as it gets. This stuff is as private as it gets. So where would they have cameras in here? I don't know. They purchased uh, gadgets and insisted me, they incited me what I feel like total paranoia. Uh, like loops and shit like this, father purchased, I don't know how many, all kinds of stuff like this and insisted he purchased for me so that I would go and look for this micro cameras and so on. But in this father's room, there's still a fixture right there that you can see. that never was mine. Those cables that you see right there, I started to play with these cameras. I wanted to install these cameras. But a picture that you see right there, the cable that you see right there, they alerted me about one. They told me that would have to do with the camera and so on and this and that and la 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 la. They probably had one. I remember them having cameras inside of the pictures. They claim the cameras are going to be inside of the bulbs. Uh, they insisted me that till I find micro cameras hidden, there will be no, no rescue to me. That it's so easy to find. No. They had like a picture which neighbor Dr. Igor Hotter has one now. Uh, and it was with something like this exactly, which you see, except that that was bigger. And it was like with the eye and so on. Uh, and that inside in that one actually was a camera inside and stuff like this they had this kind of stuff during mk Ultra, which they insisted me you have to find you have to spot one but it's interesting once i returned from united states of america the picture was fucking gone so all the stuff they insisted on how i'm going to detect the camera and so on and so forth it is i think at the quarter now it's gone. How they do it, what they are doing it, I have no idea. They brainwash me that it's going to be like this inside of the wall that's going to be cameras hitting. They brainwash me that that's what I need to find, that it's going to look like this. And they had me go back and forth, back and forth throughout the house. Look at the cracks. Talking about the neighbors here too. And they told me sometimes in 2003 that now for me, however, it's too late. And I said, why it's too late? He said, because now the cameras work in a such a way that it has a zoom that opens up and it closes up when you come close to it automatically so that you can never ever detect one, even if you would go like this on the wall. I actually believe that stuff. I don't believe this issue with which they brainwashed me with. They claimed me that these things here inside that you see, like let's say like this ear bubbles and stuff, that this are cameras inside. This is what they brainwashed me with. This was a heavy brainwash procedure. Another brainwash procedure was this stuff here. They claimed me that what you see right there, that kind of stuff that you see right there, 
that is going to be micro camera in there. Finally, George Bush did took me to Texas companies, which they manufactured micro cameras, a micro cameras which a mighty Chinese state, as it is in the field of micro cameras, camera surveillance system. And that's where China became a superpower when it comes to that. But in 95, in 96, China had nothing. China didn't know anything about micro cameras and stuff. But Americans had entire American economy based on micro cameras and stuff, on industrial espionage. That's what it was all about. That's what, uh, that's how beneficial this case through me was to this Eastern European Illuminatis. They managed to penetrate through one into this American uh, system and the world landscape completely, completely changed. I am going to stop here. I'm not going to go into any paranoia. So whatever this stuff is, whatever, whatever it is that they are using, they are using it. Oh, psychiatrist Peter Kopsch demanded me to have this mirror removed. All kinds of stuff like this, that there, there is cameras inside and so on. Yeah, they were driving insane with this stuff. They were driving totally, totally insane with this stuff. Um, if I give you an example of insanity, it's like father's door, let's say, and a father left into hospital. Uh, it was used, his room that was locked to literally intrude into my room property and destroy one and then even signal me uh, that somebody is inside of the room uh, possibly inside of the room uh, demanded for me during MK Ultra to have the door broken and go inside and so on police have given itself a tremendous tremendous issues to be they believe in a lot of issues that they would use that could trigger the first response to destroy me. But there's one thing for sure, that my father who built this house, literally with the grandfather's money, didn't only build Big Brother's house, He built something else, isn't he? Because this stuff is being used to literally murder. To literally suggest, why the fuck are you doing it if you know it's bad for you? And then it's this circle that goes and spins around and spins around. That you should basically... Eat yourself. Let's put what the fuck is wrong with you. And it doesn't matter. Emotion and logic is what this is all about. How many times you did it. It doesn't matter how many times you did it, right? And under what conditions and so on and so forth. And what the work assignments are pertaining to Supreme Court, to let's say Anti-Corruption Commission. It says here, Commission for the Prevention of Corruption, Integrity.
and its people who serve as a commission, people with the sight, made sure that I would see what was involved in MK Ultra, ethics, responsibility, integrity, rule of law, prevention of corruption, transparency, public interest. Which one of this is going to fuck you? Which one of this is going to get you? Which one of this is going to fuck you? That's what the president of commission is, what, what members of the board, employees, were asking me. The police officer at the police station, our master, he said he's not going to arrest himself. These people here made sure that I would see this stuff here. This was involved in MK Ultra. They made sure so that I would recognize them. Mm, too bad that I removed that stuff about the logic and writing and all that kind of stuff. How would you feel about stuff I'm talking about? Well, at first, it was incredibly difficult for me because I didn't know why they're doing this stuff to me, talking about the employment, about the job. I couldn't figure out why the fuck are they doing this stuff to me? What is wrong with these people? What do I have to do to get the job, to get employment? I couldn't find the answer to that. So I kept applying and kept drowning. What probably Prince Harry is so brilliant have considered as the correct thing. It wasn't about why the fuck are you doing this to yourself. I don't know what else to add to this video.